This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Angela Dempsey back with me and you brought along with you Andrew Fleming this time. You're both with the, you're both firefighters with the Smith Falls Fire Department, correct? Correct. You're also with our, our Smith Falls Firefighters Association as well too. Yes, it is. Okay, so can you talk a little bit, Angela, what the Firefighter Association is? Uh, the Firefighters Association is reaches out and does the community involvement. So the fire department does all the prevention and education. Uh, Andrew is in charge of training, uh, so he's our training lieutenant. Um, and so the fire department is the one that responds to the calls. The association, the way I consider it, the association is the one that reaches out to the community, does the different events, um, and tries to help the community build the relationships and support through um, funding grants. Um, we do, um, we just did the commencement uh, for SFDCI. Um, we did a donation for that. Wow, um, And we reach out to, we have a couple of main um, people we support. So we support the Community Food Bank um, in almost all our events. Um, and we um, have the MD, um, that we support, we do the boot drive for, um, and then different ball teams. So we're currently rebuilding after COVID, we took a quite a hit. Um, so we're currently rebuilding and um, trying to create, create some financial stability within the association. And then we're going to really push out for the community um, outreach and the involvement and being able to sponsor the teams and sponsoring events. Um, July 15th, there is the Victim Services Ball Tournament, which uh, we're hoping to be a part of. Um, so we try and support the other first responders and uh, groups within our community as well. Excellent, excellent. So how long have you been a firefighter? I'm not, a, I'm a volunteer firefighter. You're, and you're a volunteer I'm firefighter? Only over, um, just over a year. Okay, okay. And Andrew, you are uh, a lieutenant of training too. So what yes, does that mean? So I'm in charge of uh, ensuring that all of our firefighters are properly trained to the NFPA levels and uh, making sure that we can deliver some good training on our Wednesdays when we train, first and third Wednesdays of the month. We always have our volunteers and full-time staff come in and do a group training so that we can be on the same page when we go to incidents and, and emergency calls and responses. And so it's an ongoing thing, twice a month. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. great. I mean, you have to be on top yeah. of things, too. That's our minimum. We try to do a little bit extra if, if it's the summer comes and we can go out and do pumping and um, training with our aerial and such, then the summer's a great time to do it. And I guess with new equipment, too, comes with new training mm -hmm. and uh, that sort of thing, too. Yeah, no, definitely. Excellent, excellent. Now, you had a, uh, the, the association had a uh, barbecue and car wash on May 13th. How did that go? It was amazing. The community response was absolutely spectacular. Um, we had six, no, eight high school students for volunteer hours. They pumped up the energy. Um, we had a very successful garage sale, um, which helped uh, which helped the financial security of the uh, association at this point. We're one of the only associations that has a building um, and the expenses for having the building on top of that. So, but it allows us to branch out to more events and bigger events. So, which is very exciting. So it was very successful. The barbecue was good. Um, the raffle was very, um, very well received. Um, and yeah, we had a lot of really good community response. From and it. it's like you said too, we're just coming out of the pandemic. We're just getting our, you know, the feet wet again, the rubber hits the road. We're going to do some events and get involved, which you got involved in McHappy Day. Yes, it was great. Yeah. Was yeah. that your first time doing a McHappy Day? That was my first time in McHappy Day. We brought uh, three of our lieutenants, uh, Paul Bizonette, Jason Smith, and myself. Uh, Tim Carter asked us, invited us in. We had a great time, went for an hour. We worked the Goes drive. By fast. Oh, definitely. <laughs> they, they got a lot to do in those drive throughs It gives you a lot of respect for the people that work behind yeah. the counter, doesn't it? Yeah, no. Wow, well, it is, it is, yeah, for sure, for sure. We've got an event coming up, though, to touch the truck. Yes, Let's that talk about is that. on June the 10th. Um, and it is a barbecue, um, as well as we've got a, a few kids' events for kids to come to. It is a $5 donation per family um, f for the food bank. So we'll accept the donations when they come in. And we have all of our trucks that are going to be there. We have um, a huge crew of 
full times and volunteer firefighters that are going to be there, be able to go through the trucks, show the trucks. We also have the Smith Falls Police involved. Um, we have Healy bus lines uh, or Healy transportation. I'm not sure. I apologize if I have it incorrect. And we have Campbell's Trucking who are bringing their two new vehicles. And we're in conversations with a couple of other um, people within the community and businesses within the community to try and make it as big and that the kids can explore as many vehicles as we can possibly get. Wow, I mean, how many opportunities do children get to go through a fire truck or mm -hmm. a bus, that sort of thing, you know, or these big uh, trucks that you're coming with? So these opportunities are wonderful. You, the kids love it. Oh, yes, definitely, especially when the doors are open and they can go through and, yep. and look yep. at what we're doing. Instead of seeing us fly by with lights and sirens, they get to go in and look and see what we're working with. And it's, it's a great opportunity for children to get a, a, a respect for you guys too, you know, firefighters. And build positive relationships. Yes, which is not what, just scary ones in the event. Of. Exactly, which is what the association is trying to reach out um, and really build a presence within the community, a positive presence within the community. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, and that's what uh, th these events help so much too. And you, you go around to schools, that sort of thing too. I've seen have you yeah, done that? You're Jason Smith's our fire prevention officer. He okay. normally, we're just getting our legs back under us so mm -hmm. with the COVID pandemic, but uh, that will be coming shortly. Excellent, excellent. So that event we were talking about right now is June 10th. You've got one coming up in the fall too, but it's going to be here sooner than we know. And it's pretty exciting. It's pretty mm -hmm. exciting. So let's talk about what's going on in the fall. Andrew, we'll head yeah. this one off. The touch the truck, or no, sorry, correction, the uh, the pull the pumper. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to, to gain a little bit of momentum with our, our colleagues in the emergency services and, and the people in town and see if, if anybody wants to gather a group, um, challenge the group, uh, pull the pumper. Um, just You're actually going to do that. Yes, we're yeah. going to have a, a firefighter <laughs> sitting in the truck just as a safety, and then we'll have a group of 10. Uh, with a rope, pull the pumper. It's a well-known uh, tradition and, and uh, event, so we're hopefully bring it back to Smith Falls and see if it can take off. And it's going to be one of the fire truck, the the pumper. Yeah, it will be our mainline pumper. The full of water. Yeah. <laughs> what is? yeah. I guess it always has to be, yeah. doesn't it? We might have the brake just squeeze on a bit for the other teams. But, yeah. So, um, Action Fitness is donating the rope to be able to pull, or to lend us the rope to be able to pull the pumper. A team of 10 registration is $400, and 50% of that proceeds is going to Boots on the Ground, which is a peer to peer support um, within um, first responders. Um, so, um, that is something that's near and dear to when we were discussing within the association and as well as conversations with Andrew. That's something we wanted to branch out and kind of bring awareness to the men, uh, mental health within Absolutely. first responders and make sure that we have the tools we need for situations that are out of Oh, we have to take care of the people that take yeah. care of us. So absolutely, absolutely. So, so those programs are so important. It's it's a big event too. You've got like vendors coming. You've got uh, other entertainment. That sort so of thing. So Michelin Cordy is uh, organizing all the vendors market. We can have up to thirty vendors um, within um, our little area. Um, so we're right now we're scheduled to do it on October fourteenth. We're looking to push it to a week to October twenty first due to training. Um, that Paul Bisnett and Andrew have to attend. Um, so, the, but the vendors are gonna be there. Um, we're gonna have a barbecue set up through the association. It's uh, entrance fee is donation only um, to the food bank um, because we all know that they're hurting. And in October, right before Christmas, that is the time where we do the food drive with the holiday train, mm -hmm. but that little bit of extra with the way um, our community is impacted right now with a lot of things is very important to us so it's by donation we are having a kids activity area um, so we're having a bunch of yard games um, set up for them we're going to reach out to different service clubs to see if they want to get different activities set up for the kids we have um, flare dance studio confirmed they're going to do a demonstration and they're going to go through um, and talk about them we're hoping to reach out to um, some other people, we are in the process of getting Portland uh, Karate um, involved um, and Shea Summers is helping facilitate that um, with the association. So we have a lot of, 
we have a really, really strong team of uh, firefighters, um, volunteer firefighters and retired firefighters who want to continue nurturing these relationships within the community. And their spouses are really stepping up to the plate as well. Like um, Andrew's partner is amazing at floating ideas and giving me different um, advice. So we're, it's really much, the association has become a family that is trying to reach out and build those relationships. And like I hear that, I've been talking to you for a while now about your association and I mean you guys don't just walk the walk, you talk the talk, you guys don't just you know sit around let's have another meeting. You, you've got so much initiative and you, you, some fun events too you know like you, you've got some initiative on your team for sure. And that's one thing that Smith Falls is lacking is the big community events. Yeah. Um, we used to have different ones downtown and we do have the big market in either the end of July or June by the DBA in yes. the old... Uh, Where the, and the, I, the I show used to be there. The, yes, yeah, the theater yes. used to be in there, yeah. So, and they've got a kids section and they've got live, me yeah. live music and a bunch of different things. But the end of the summer, the fall market, we can get yeah. out the different Halloween stuff. We can... Sparky will be there. Oh, yeah. And just reach out to... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, from October to March, I think Sparky's one of the lucky, luckiest people. He's the warmest one out there. You know? so. Yeah, definitely in the summer too. <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure. Yes, yeah. And that event that we're talking about, the uh, pull the pumper, that is going to be at the youth center, the youth arena. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. It That's is cool. confirmed for the 14th of the the youth um, 71 lands down. Right. Um, but we're hoping, as I said, to push it to the 21st. So Excellent. we're in the process of that. Well, we'll have to have you back and we'll talk about that lots. But uh, in the meantime, we've got the next event and that is the one on June 10th. That's just a couple of weeks coming away too. So mm -hmm. more information about that one. How do people get hold of you? So we have a very active association Facebook page. Yes, you do. Um, very we, responsive too. Yes, we we try to be. Um, we you can email us at sffa1852 at gmail.com. We do have a phone number at six one three four eight five zero nine seven nine. Um, and Joel, our secretary, is currently has that. So it might take a lot of the. Um, members of the association do work outside mm -hmm. um, or they're on shift and they can't answer. Right. Um, so it might take a little bit, um, but we do try and respond as quickly as we possibly can. Yeah, I haven't had any trouble. You've been Johnny on the spot when it comes to <laughs> your Facebook page for sure, for sure. Well, thank you very much for everything you do. We look forward to the Touch the Truck June 10th, 11 till 3? Yes. 11 till 3 and that's at the fire station on Beckwith Street. And we'll have you back and we're going to talk about more about the pull the pumper, but uh, we're getting ready for it. We're very excited. Yes. And the being able to not challenge, but build those relationships with other first responders. Yeah, so friendly competition is always good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Angela Dempsey and Andrew Fleming, thanks for joining us here on FYI. And uh, have a great time on June the 10th. Thank you. Thanks so very much. much.